Live from Valenzuela City, your Tito Tony. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Brady. Welcome to our live streaming for English A. Once again, I am your Tito Tony saying, whatever the situations are, education must continue. Our topic for today is finding information of our Quarter 4, Module 4, and it is written by Ma'am Rona Erika V. Cloud of My Son National High School. Our specific objective of the day is use locational skills to gather information from primary and secondary sources of information. Alright. You know, people, Locating information is the skill of finding, extracting, understanding, and using information that is not in the form of a normal text. Examples include pie chart, bar chart, line graphs, table, and diagram. Imagine finding information with these graphics. You will be working like a treasure hunter or a detective but instead of searching for crime evidences or treasures you will be looking for information that would do you good in your studies 
All right, you are doing great so far in our first activity. You found the hidden words in the pictures. You are now beginning to unlock your treasure hunting skills. And by the way, who is your favorite treasure hunter? Is it Indiana Jones? And how about favorite detective character? Is it Detective Conan? Sherlock Holmes, perhaps? Okay. Now, in this activity, we will see how good you are in finding treasures. Location first, using a map. Activity title on the map. Please refer. Kindly get your modules and refer in your modules because you may want to see clearer pictures of this. Directions. When locating information in maps, it is important to read the labels and know the symbols. Read the questions in this activity and study the map to locate and gather information. And circle the letter of your answers in the space provided. Again, refer to your modules. Now, look at this map. Try to analyze the information given and then answer the following questions. You have a minute to do that and again, for a third time, may I suggest use your modules for clearer photos or images. Okay, you have a minute for that. something like Philippine General Hospital in this map number letter B Manila Medical or Medical Center Manila can you locate it or letter C San Lorenzo Medical Center which two hospitals are located in this map <laughs> Time is up. The answers are letter A and letter B, and that is the Philippine General Hospital and the Makati Medical Center. Questions number three What cemetery can be found in the map? First, letter A Manila North Cemetery. Letter B, Paco Park and Cemetery, and Letter C, Chinese Cemetery. 10 seconds. <laughs> should you take if you are from Luneta Park and you want to go to Philippine Christian University? A. Taft Avenue 
B. Rizal Avenue and Lercy Bonifacio Drive. 10 seconds. <laughs> The answer is letter A, F, Taft Avenue. Question number five. If you are from Paco Park and Seminary, what street would you take to go to the embassy or U.S. Embassy? Letter A, Maria Rosa Street. B, Taft Avenue and letter C, Padre Faura Street. 10 seconds. The answer is letter C. It's Padre Faura Street. So how are you doing people? If you got 6 to 10 correct answers or correct scores in our first and second activities, you are a great treasure hunter, probably like in Diana Jones or as a detective is Sherlock Holmes. But if you've got lower than 6 correct answers, you are a good detective. Alright? It's Conan perhaps or Sherlock Holmes, but still you need to practice more. People, searching for information is like what you've done in the previous activity. You must spend time studying the material to locate or find the information that you need. As you've learned, the materials that you may use in gathering information may be a primary source or secondary source or you can use them both you should understand the type of sources that are available before you start searching for this information and furthermore having the skills and locating the, the information that you need is equally important here are some tips on locating information. First, read the statements and underline the keywords. Second, scan the text to locate the keywords. And preview the text features such as titles, headings, subheadings, charts, pictures, or etc. Locating information can be used in maps, charts, graphs, and any other primary or secondary sources. All right, people, time for assessment. Direction. Text features such as titles, headings, subheadings, charts, etc. can help you locate information easily. Read the article and answer the questions that follow. And circle the letter of the correct answer. Now, here is our image. You still have a minute to try to figure this out. And if it's not clear, please once again refer to your module for clearer images. Alright, so you have a minute to try to figure it out.
question is what is the title of the article? Letter A. All about pets. Letter B. Unusual pets. And letter C. Popular pets. Alright, the answer is for number one, it is letter A, all about pets. Number two, if you want to know more about cats, what heading should you follow? Letter A, popular pets. Letter B, unusual pets. And letter C, cats. Seconds. The answer is letter C, cats. Number three, who would likely to have unusual pets? Letter A, people with lots of space. Letter B, people who live in the city. And letter C, people who are busy. Ten seconds. Lots of space. Number four. What popular pet can be both playful and affectionate? Letter A. Cat. Letter B. Dog. Letter C. Fish. Ten seconds. Dr. Joan Poha, hi ma'am. Sir Alejandro Roque, our big night English coordinator, Manche. Hello, teachers, our English teachers. Doc Win Tugade, our supervisor in English and journalism. And of course, to all of you, it was always a happy day of learning English. See you next time. Probably next school year. I would also like to say thank you with my assistants Jasper Juban and Carmelo Calixterio. Thank you so much, amigos. Now, I should say, this is your Tito Tony saying, Ano man ang sitwasyon, tuloy ang edukasyon dahil dito sa Valenzuela. My disciplina. Thank you so much!